New tonight, major pavement problems. Caltrans now looking into why there are cracks on the Pioneer Bridge. The bridge spans the Sacramento River. It's also part of the completed $26 million SAC decked out project for Highway 50. KTRA 3's Claire Dewan is live now with how big this problem is and what's being done about it. Claire? Well, Rob Kelly, Caltrans noticed the cracks on the Pioneer Bridge behind me about a month and a half ago. Since then, they have made temporary repairs, but they still don't know what went wrong. These patches on the Pioneer Bridge show the recent repair work to cover up cracks. They appear just months after crews resurfaced the pavement. It seems like there's been a pattern here between what's going on with the San Francisco Bay Bridge, uh, with mistakes being made, they're very costly mistakes, as well as this here. So I imagine there's some, some accountability that needs to be had. The treatment was part of the SAC decked out project on sections of I 5 and Highway 50 along the Sacramento River. Caltrans says brief rain fell after crews laid material. Are there any other possibilities for the reason for the cracks? Right now, it's just too, too soon to really comment about. Uh, rain could have played a, a factor in it. Caltrans says it's working with the project contractor, Myers and Sons. In the next few weeks, inspectors will go out to scrutinize the literal holes appearing in this $26 million project. The issues with cracking, how much would that cost to fix everything? Uh, we don't know at this point, but what we do know is that there's a three year warranty on the bridge work that was actually done. Whether the cracks are covered under the warranty depends on what inspectors find. But some drivers we spoke to aren't thrilled about the recent discovery. I would hope that if you're going to spend $26 million on something, that it would last. It's after you price tag to have some cracks. So, yeah, but uh, I'm a little bit surprised about that. Yeah, I am. Myers and Sons did not return our messages. In the meantime, Caltrans says the problems only lie with the surface of the bridge, not the structure itself, so they say it's still safe to drive on. Live in West Sacramento, Claire Dwan, KC3 News. And Claire, you said it could take weeks before they figure this out? That's right, Kelly. Weeks, they say that they want to scrutinize the problem areas, but they have to do it during the day, and they don't want to impact traffic, so they're trying to find a way to do all that. Understandable. Claire, thank you.